Hi, this is Chris Sparks. I want to give you a quick tutorial on ARCHICAD's Virtual Building Explorer files and a way to navigate around them and a few things that um, might help you be able to navigate the, the file a little, a little better. What we've got, hopefully you've been able to connect to the internet and download the file in a link that was sent to you for either a Macintosh or for a Windows PC. If it is an app.app file, it will be a, a Microsoft, or excuse me, a uh, Apple application. And if it is an executable program, exe, it will be for a Windows-based computer. So once you find the corresponding file and download it, you can double-click to open it. And hopefully you can see this on your screen. It opens up a small tutorial here with basic navigation. And the basic navigation will allow the mouse itself will be your direction to move and you can use either the arrow keys or WASD like a, a typical game would have controls. Um, you can also um, hit tap escape for a list of all the controls that you can you can cross reference and, and double check again. Now there's a couple of things that you'll want to do before you, you get too in, in deep in this one. What you want to set your controls on is to go into and change the settings from unit to from metric to imperial. Now, all you do is you click on it and hold, and then you should be able to select the imperial. And what this does is when you use your measuring tool, it'll give you uh, imperial measurements instead of the metric. So when you get back out of the settings, you can tap the M, which will allow you to pick on an object or an element. Click, left click, and then you can pull around and drag your mouse to see approximately distances and, and heights and uh, use a measuring tool like you would in real life. So this is saying that that's about an eight feet difference right there from where I first clicked to my secondary click. Um, in addition to the measure tool, you also have an info by tapping I. And you can hover over objects this way. This is helpful if there's something we've left off or if there's something poking through a corner or a floor. You can highlight over it and basically when you click it, it's just going to tell you what it is. Uh, like this one is an object that's a glue lamb or a beam on the glue lamb beam layer. Um, in addition to the measure and the info tool, you also have a few more controls that make it a little bit easier to uh, navigate. Now, when you move around the model, which you can do just by pressing your arrow keys again, you can also hold the shift key to go faster. So you should be able to walk up steps, uh, move around the object like it was a, a real model. You know, a little bit uh, elementary, but you can uh, take a look around, see what's there and what you like and what you don't like. Uh, ask questions or take screenshots by tapping um, F5 will take a picture of what you're looking at on the screen and that'll be saved in the file itself. Um, when you move around, if you do get stuck, and sometimes you can you can tap up against an element that just won't let you through, you can tap the space key, space bar, and it will let you kind of jump over elements that may be in the way. So, other than that, you can also tap the F key which is a uh, gravity key. By tapping it you go into fly mode and you can see it kind of lifted you off the surface and then you can just go anywhere you want. It doesn't have any rules then. You can move through walls and roofs, um, take a look wherever you want to look and do whatever you want to do basically. But it is kind of helpful when you get back to a surface to tap F again where it gives you a real feel of heights and um, scale of your home. So when you look around, uh, this one for example, there's a, uh, a roof there that's real close, so you can tap that F and go outside and see how close it is to the window, which in this case it's, it's pretty close. Uh, y and H, Y will make you go up, H will let you go down, so you can see exactly what it is. Now this is a, a building modeler, so in this case it's real close, but if it's built like it, like it says, it should actually come out very close to, to the way it is on the model. Um, if you have any questions on that stuff, you feel free to give us a call, um, email, any questions you, you've got. 
Uh, controls should be pretty basic, and you can hit the escape key again for a list of what you can do. Now, in addition to that, you can turn layers on and off. Uh, most of all of our layer system is in here. If you want to turn off, uh, for example, the, the roofs, or if uh, the log walls are in the way, you want to look around those. Um, whatever element there is should be associated with the um, layer that's capable of turning on and off. In the gallery itself, that's where you take your screenshot, the F5. When you're back out of this, you can take a picture by using just the F5 key. Controls, like we talked about. Now, if your computer's given issues, you can turn the sun shadows off by tap tapping uh, F3. Um, map mode is very helpful to see where you are in the plan by tapping the backspace or the delete key on the Mac. It actually gives you plan view while you're walking around. If you can kind of see in the center of the screen there, there's an arrow that will turn with your direction and actually shows you where you are in the plan. In this case, we're about to go down the stairs, so your your arrow gets right up on the stairs and then it goes down and follows in real life. Now, it will toggle layers. In this case, there's framing that, that it's picking up on, but it, usually enough to let you know where you are on the plan, especially if you get confused and... Um, it's very easy to get turned around in, in these models. So take your time and explore and see how, how everything looks. Now, like I said, it's not, it's not perfect, but it'll give you an idea of how everything is, is laid out and make sure we're on the right page. Um, escape is all your settings again. Um, once you get through, you should just be able to go down here to quit and quit the program itself. And you're back where you started, and then you can uh, email all your questions or give us a call as soon as you have an opportunity. Hope that helped, and if you need anything else, please feel free to call or email us. Thank you very much.